Manitoba. We're going to Manitoba. Manitoba? Yeah. What? What's in Manitoba? We are traveling through Canada. Oh, okay. Who dropped you here? Oh, uh, there's a guy. His mother lives here. His name is, uh, what's his name? George. George. Sorry? In Canada? No, right here. Uh, ten min Canada. five, ten minutes. Yeah. He just dropped us here. Yeah. We only have uh, two backpacks, it's, uh, we have tent, we're going to camp in the lake uh, over there. I can take you to Hudson Bay if you want to jump in the back. Yeah, that would be great. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, no, you have your all. Oh, can I take a picture, please? Because <laughs> 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 it's so wonderful. No, I, I'm going to pee and, and, and the police can't stop, it's so cool. <laughs> No, she's French. She doesn't speak English, but uh, she, she, she's very impressed. She... <laughs> I'm from Taiwan. She's from France. Taiwan? Yeah, she's from France. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, yep. Uh, okay, take your arm. Yep. <sighs> Uh. My brother, he, uh, he's Asian, and yes, yeah, so I, I, I keep pictures for my brother. <laughs> okay, let me back. Okay, thank you so much, appreciate it. No problem. Uh. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the most comfortable seat. Ah, no, it's, yeah, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. No problem. My first time in the police car. <laughs> it's, our it's our first time in the police car. So we're going to be taken by a police car. It's from the police. Hello, how is your name? Adam. Albert? Adam. 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 Yeah. My name is Ling and her name is Cecile. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I I don't understand RCMP is is stand for what? Royal Royal. Ah, okay. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. We're oh. the uh, oldest police force in Canada. Yeah. We started in uh, the 1870s. Wow. When the country was still being developed. Wow, man. And uh, essentially, we, the whole police force started because there was a massacre. There was a massacre. <laughs> south of this province that you're in. Um, in Saskatchewan? Yeah, in the deep south between where the border of uh, Canada and the United States is. Some, um, some ranchers and farmers had their cattle stolen. Uh -huh. and they thought it was the local natives that uh -huh. had done it. Uh -huh. So those ranchers ended up massacring all uh, an entire band of native people. Wow. Man. And uh, they were wrong. That wasn't what happened. And so the government at the time said that the west of Canada is a lawless frontier no and they needed police. So they started out with a hundred good men on horses in Ontario. Yeah. And they did what we call the march west. They came west across the prairies because there was no roads, no highways, no railway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they rode horses until they got to Regina, Saskatchewan. Yeah. And uh, that's where our first basically training establishment was set up and to this day every police officer who's a Mountie in Canada still gets trained in Regina, Saskatchewan. Every police? Everyone who's a Mountie. Because we have Mounties from coast to coast. That's what I'm called. I'm a, uh -huh. I'm a police officer but they, they call us Mounties because we're Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And every Mountie police is will be is trained in uh, in Regina, Saskatchewan. Wow, no yep. kidding. Okay, okay. Yeah, right to this day. Okay. But I don't really understand what's the what's the difference between the Mountie police and the police in the city. Well, we're mostly rural police officers. Ah. We're police officers like any other, but traditionally we police the countryside, the rural areas. So, um, so are you guys our sheriff? No, we're what we are is we're we're a federal police. We're we're Canada's national police force. Uh huh. So we're we're dictated and governed by the government of Canada. Uh -huh. um, we belong to the country, not to the individual towns where we work. Uh, so we're a, we're a
contract police force. Okay, and, and the sheriff do. works for the province? Yeah, the sheriffs work for the province, and they're not peace officers, they're, they have a different role. We're police officers in the, in the traditional sense. Oh, okay. So, but we generally work rural, but we have some fairly large detachments, especially in British Columbia and things like that, but uh, coast to coast you'll find RCMP. Oh, okay, now I understand. Yeah, we're the National Police Force, we have about 20,000 members. 20,000 across yeah. Canada? Across Canada, yeah. Wow. We do all the federal policing, we do everything from terrorism right down to local policing, just like I am. Okay, I see. Oh, that's awesome. Similar for the most part, yeah. same kind of origin. But, so uh, Saskatchewan's home for me, so I'm happy to be back in my home province. Exactly. So your job is just to patrol the area. Yeah, we respond to police dispatches just like any other police force. Okay. Uh, we do proactive stuff. We work with the schools. We work with the the community, solve problems. We have another detachment down that road. That's yeah. a town of Porcupine Plain. Okay. We do this entire area. We have. Oh man, I don't know, 30,000 square kilometers for my detachment. Wow, that's awesome. And out here I've got uh, myself, uh -huh. uh, the sergeant, and then I have four constables out here as well. Sergeant is high, higher rank than you? Yeah, I'm a corporal. I have a sergeant over top of me, and I have four constables underneath me. So we only have six police officers for this giant area. Only six police officers. Six police officers. So the highest rank is uh, what do you say, sergeant? Yeah, right here the highest rank is a sergeant. There's and higher ranks in Canada, but out here the highest rank is sergeant. And then you are? I'm a corporal. Corporal. And then underneath, means you there are four constable. Constables. Yeah. Wow. Only six yeah. police officers. <laughs> yeah. Everything from before where I met you, uh -huh. all the way to the Manitoba border, uh, about. 50 to 60 kilometers south of here and about 100 kilometers north of here. That's my area. Holy moly. <laughs> it's so big. It's quite large, yeah. yeah, wow, incredible. And, uh, this area is primarily forest and, uh, and some farmland. Oh, okay, wow. And do you often see hitchhiker? No. No hitchhiker because. Uh, <laughs> Not up here. I used to work down on highway number one uh -huh. and a lot of people hitchhike that highway because that's the Trans Canada. Yeah. That'll take you from coast to coast. Oh. Up here, no, if somebody's hitchhiking, they're usually from around here. So oh. I have to say, you're probably the first people that I've met that are uh, foreigner. Yeah, well, at least trying to pass through. <laughs> I did uh, I did meet a man from, oh, where was he from? Somewhere in South America. I can't remember what country he was he, from. He might have been from Colombia. He was hitchhiking? Uh, he came on the train from Churchill. Oh. You can take a train from Hudson Bay to Churchill, Manitoba, where all the polar bears are. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, he came down on the train from Churchill. Wow. You know, we, we went past this town called Teasdale, and then yep. I think a lot of people over there, they never seen foreigner. <laughs> and like ev everybody well, were I mean, waving at us, and people just. Not we were so hitchhiking awesome. beside a gas station, and there was a lady just yes. give us food and drinks and like. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's yeah. a very, uh, very welcoming area. Everybody yeah, very friendly. friendly. We were very we never friendly. seen like this, and everybody is like waving, hey, and then people, people stop and just ask us, uh, what are you guys doing here? You know, like. Uh, no, it's a very, very friendly area. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, the town of Hudson Bay is pretty much the end of the road for Saskatchewan. It's it's one of the last towns that you'll see. It's a it's a decent sized town. That's oh. where I live. Oh, okay, awesome. I'm actually just passing through. I just came from Saskatoon to pick up that thing that I'm towing there. Okay, I see. Are you a farmer? No, no. That is actually a rollover simulator. It's a car. Uh, well, half of a car, and we put dummies in it, and it's got an engine that'll make it spin. So we use it to to show the kids why they have to wear their seatbelts. Ah, 
Oh wow! So you put dummies in that car and you spin the ton the whole thing, and they don't have seatbelts on, so they get thrown all over the place. So wow, that so simulates awesome. what it would be like if you crashed and didn't have your seatbelt on. That's so awesome. Yeah, so we're doing a big program with the kids at the high school. 12, 12 hours per, per shift. Well, we work for eight, uh -huh. and then we're on call for the remainder because we're not a gigantic police force. So oh. when we finish for the evening, we put ourselves on call, and if anything happens, they call us at our house, and then we get in our uniform and go out and do police stuff again. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's a um, it's different kind of policing. You're really kind of a part of the community. Everybody knows who you are, and. And we transfer every five years or so. We don't stay in the same community for very long. Ah, so every five years you will be transferred to another place? This is my third posting in 11 years, so. Wow. And it's, it's mandatory? Like yeah. you have to be transferred? Yeah. Wow, I, but how about your family? Your family has to move with you? Like say if you have wife and kids? Yeah, yes. it, it's difficult for them. Yeah. They move with you? Yes. No but kidding. We, we, we make, my my father was a military, military yeah. and we moved time similar to that similar wow. to that we move uh, and every... stop he stop is uh, his function function at uh, 35 years old yeah so yeah, we, we, move uh, a lot. we move a lot we move every three to five years yeah but when you move the the government provide you a place to stay or well, you need to find a place by yourself it kind of depends where you're going um, if it's a very small community they'll have houses there but if it's a larger community where you can buy a house, then you just have to buy a house. No, rent a house, right? You rent need... or buy. Oh, um, wow. And you rent from the government if they have a house where you're living. And uh, now you are living in Hudson Bay, it's uh... I own my house in Hudson Bay. Ah, so when you're being transferred here, you bought a house. Yeah, I have to sell it and then I have to buy. Well, I might have to buy. It depends where I go. So. Wow, no kidding. Yeah. But then... All of the police officers are there, they are like this every five years has to be transferred. All the Mounties like me, yeah. Wow, no yeah. kidding. For sure. That's a tough job. It's rewarding. I mean, I feel like they're helping people, so. Yeah, yeah, it's good, yeah. So this is where we are. And you see to the north there? fields don't go very long that's called the northern provincial forest uh -huh. yeah. and it goes forever it just it goes forever <laughs> it goes forever there, there's nobody everybody who lives out here lives within a few miles of the highway because uh. we're all surrounded by forests so we're actually kind of in a, a dangerous situation for forest fires right now uh, there's a big forest fire out in Alberta right now. I don't know if you guys have heard the radio. Yeah, today. everybody, yeah. everybody was telling me that us this story. Yeah, the fire. Well, it's yeah. a city of almost a hundred thousand people, and they were the entire city was evacuated because the city's on fire. Exactly. It's a and big that's news. why it's actually hazy in the air right now. That smoke is from the fire. Uh, Normally, yes. you'd be able to see farther than this. You can see the hazes in the distance. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's the smoke coming from that fire in Alberta. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And that fire is probably, oh geez, 1,500 kilometers from here. Yeah. And we, we always have worries for that because it's quite dry. And like I, the, the, main, the big forest is only that far from the road. So that's all the provincial forest and it just goes forever. So like a month, how many days you can have day off? Uh, Eight days or 10? Well, I mean, our work, Averages out to working 40 hours a week like everybody else. Yeah. Um, but we get longer stretches off at a time. So you may work six shifts. Yeah. And you'll work uh, after those six shifts, you'll probably get three days off. Oh, okay. I see. Um, you might work once a month, my guys get four days off. Uh -huh. uh, for the rest, they get either three or two days off. So it all equals out. You work longer stretches, but you get more days off in between. So. And then annually, you know, annually you have this vacation, you know, like yeah. the pay holiday. How many weeks uh, as a police? Uh, you start with three weeks holiday a year. And then... Um, and say you, you've you been working for 11 years, right? Yeah, I get... Uh, what do I, I don't know. I don't use all my holidays. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard because we do work uh, a lot. Like I'm expected to be on call and I end up going back to work a lot on my time off because there's only six of us so so if you don't use your holiday what 
what you do with it on the holiday? It, uh, it just stays in a bank and it just keeps accumulating. Oh. Like, uh, I have... I have more holidays than I could probably ever use. <laughs> because I can't take, you know, you I can't, cannot take holidays. I can't just take a month off of work. There's no way they could cover it. See, what happens out here is that we service a lot of native reserves. Uh -huh. And uh, the bigger towns are collection areas for people from many, many backgrounds. And the bigger the town, it just brings more money and more drugs and things like that. And then crime follows that. Now, overall, the town is quite nice. I have a lot of friends that live there, but... La, La Pa. Yeah, it does have a higher crime rate than, than you know, a place like Hudson Bay does, so... But higher than Winnipeg? Winnipeg? No, no, not, not higher than Winnipeg. <laughs> not higher than Winnipeg. <laughs> Winnipeg is, uh, it's a very nice city, but, I mean, it has big city problems, so... Yeah. But you know what? I've been to a, a lot of cities in Canada, but... Canada is very safe compared to United States or... Yes, yes. United well, we, States has giant city. We are, our people are very friendly and we have uh, very uh, restrictive gun laws, so you don't have gun crimes here. Exactly. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean that crime doesn't happen here. Of course crime happens here, but... Uh, very rare. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's not like it is in the United States. Uh, you know, I've spent a small amount of time in the United States, but... God, United States is crazy, no kidding. <laughs> you go to Walmart in United States, you can buy guns. Yes. Every Walmart has guns. Yeah, we have we have a very lots of control over our guns here. Basically, if anybody has a gun here, it's for hunting reasons. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's not to say that you know bad things don't happen. But... Yeah. And like, I went to Texas in United States, and I went to a flea market. Yeah. And I saw people selling guns on the flea yeah. market. See, in a lot of states in the United in the United States, you can actually, as a citizen, carry a gun legally on your on your hip, like I do. As a, and that's I, I just can't understand that. I it's just, not. It's uh, it's I crazy for me. It's uh, it's crazy. You see, normal people carrying gun like yeah. on your lips, you know, I, on the hips, you know, yeah, it's it's incredible. I, that one is. Uh, but uh, it's their constitution uh, right. Yeah. So, uh, but it was a long time ago. They have this constitution like more than 200 years ago. That's very old fashioned, you know? Yeah, I, I guess it's just ingrained in their society or, yeah, or yeah. certain people. I mean, not everybody feels the same way, I suppose. And I have personally talked with American people. And actually a lot of people, they, they think it's, it's their right to bear gun, bear arm with bear them. Bear arms, right. And that's in their constitution. Uh, I believe it's their uh, the Third Amendment or the Fourth Amendment. Yeah, the right to bear arms. Yeah. You see out here, the, the forest comes now along the highway. Yeah. There's there's no houses. This is just forest for hundreds of kilometers. Oh my God. Yeah. And uh, we have a lot of wildlife out here. We have uh, moose, elk, lots of deer, uh -huh. um, bears. Lynx. Uh, we want to see lynx so bad. We, we, uh, the yeah. lynx is the only animal we haven't seen. There's a, there's a road from Hudson Bay, and it goes to the north to the Paw, but it's a gravel road, and we call it uh, we call it the Tote Road. Uh huh. And it goes through an area called the Wildcat Provincial Forest, uh -huh. or the Wildcat Provincial Park, and it's called the Wildcat Provincial Park because there's lots of uh, lynx up there. Uh huh. So. You're not guaranteed to see one every time, but sometimes you'll you'll see six. It's pretty neat. Really? Yeah, wow. they like to hang out next to the road. No kidding. I've seen a couple right back where I picked you up there before. Lynx. Yep. Wow. Wow. Lucky you. It's kind of wet in the mm -hmm. winter. This is the Fur River. There's really good fishing in there. Mm -hmm. Brook trout. Ah, brook trout. So your wife is also a police officer? No. I guess she's my, a, like a wife, housewife. Yeah, my mom, my wife stays home with uh, with the boys. Okay, good. Yeah, it's uh, it's important for me to her for her to stay home with my boys. Yes. Yep. We are. This is Hudson Bay. Yeah. About uh, one thousand four hundred people live here. Okay. Yep. Ice cream shop, if you. You're too oh, hot. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> oh, nice, good shot. Yeah. Yep. Maybe uh, last week they still closed, and this week it's getting really hot. And they, opened. <laughs> they opened way too early. Yes. I think there was still snow on the ground when they opened. And they opened? Yeah, they opened. Because <laughs> they, they always open the same time, whether it's 
snow or not, I seem to remember it being like minus 10 when they opened. So. <laughs> Who eat ice cream when it isn't minus? Oh yeah, well, I guess when we're desperate for summer, so we'll pretend like it's summer. So. There's our new school, it's really, really big. That big wow, green look at that, green. man. It's, it's nice. Welcome to Sunday. And then, so we just have to go straight, right? Uh, yeah, I can show you. You have a map with you too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, like this, maybe I go to pee because I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there's a... Yes. Okay, let's go to pee. Uh, thank you so much. Thank uh, you for, very much. Uh, Adam, right? Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, this highway that we just came in on, if you see that road where we could have turned, uh -huh. you just kind of walk around there, that takes you back out of town. Okay. So, um, there's a gas station here, and there's also a gas station right as you leave the town. Yeah. Another convenience store like this. Okay. Uh, downtown is just over here. Mm -hmm. There's nothing over there. Nothing really over there, so if you are going to stick around, downtown is that way. There's lots of hotels if you do end up having a stay. Mm -hmm. and there's actually, uh, you know, the campgrounds aren't really within walking distance. So, okay. Um, I'm going to let my other officers that are working tonight know that you're here because people do tend to call if somebody's just wandering around. So, uh -huh. I'll let them know that I've already spoken to you. Oh, okay, cool. Just so you know, if your police officer does talk to you, it's just because somebody's called and that's part of our job. So, okay, no problem. Right. Yep. Alrighty. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Yeah, no, I just take my map. Uh, yeah. I can't help you with your travels, but here is some cold pizza and some water for you. Well, how do you know we, we are traveling? I, I, I saw you walking with your backpack across the intersection. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully you eat pizza if it's cold, but... Oh, no, it's good. Uh, it's yeah, good food. It's uh, we good. like Canadian pizza. Okay. <laughs> you found Saskatchewan? Oh, yeah, I live here. This are is you? My, home, my home province. Your homeland. Yes, okay, home. awesome. Okay, so I'm from Taiwan, she's from France. Oh, well, wonderful to we're, meet we're, you. We're just backpacking through Canada, so. All right. What's Hi. your name? Elaine. Elaine, my name is Ling. Ling? Ling and Cecile. Cecile, yeah. all right. You guys have safe travels. Nice meeting you, yeah? Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Wow, so this woman, she just saw us uh, walking on the road and she decided to bought us uh, water and pizza. Pizza in Canada. C'est le pied. Wow, look at that. The Canada, c'est le pied.